According to a new report, several big name WWE superstars will be leaving after WrestleMania 40. So which ones are leaving? Let's get to the list right now. Ever since the Vince McMahon Brock Lesnar scandal broke, Triple H has been under fire. He was asked repeatedly at a press conference after a pay per view about the Vince scandal. And Triple H was caught off guard. He was squirming. He didn't know what to say. It's not because he's the current head of WWE Creative. It's because he's the son-in-law of Vince McMahon, and he is married to Vince McMahon's daughter. Obviously, when you're that close to somebody who allegedly did illegal things, then you may have insider knowledge of those illegal things. We already know that there have been serious accusations from a former WWE wrestler that Triple H had a secret affair with former female WWE star Caitlyn, and that Triple H stopped wearing his wedding ring during this affair. Now, the former wrestler who is making this accusation is Ryback. Ryback also alleges that Triple H's wife, Stephanie McMahon, also had an affair with a unnamed male wrestler. Now, as the investigation proceeds against Vince McMahon and Brock Lesnar, new information is going to come out. And if Triple H did have affairs with female WWE wrestlers, we will have that information. And obviously, the court proceedings, the trials, the charges for Vince McMahon and Brock Lesnar, those are going to happen sometime after WrestleMania 40. And for that reason, it is very likely that Triple H will be fired from WWE due to his connection with Vince McMahon. Triple H has said that he knew nothing and that he wasn't aware Vince was having an affair with a WWE employee, and he was trafficking her. But TKO, the company that owns WWE after WrestleMania 40, will want to make a clean break and just get rid of all traces of Vince McMahon from the company, and firing his very own son-in-law would be the next step in completely erasing Vince McMahon from the company. Now let's get to the next name on this list of wrestlers leaving after WrestleMania 40. And this name will surprise everyone. There is little doubt that Cody Rhodes has become WWE's favorite wrestler. And the heads of WWE now believe that the person who is going to draw in the biggest ratings, the biggest ticket sales, the most pay-per-view watches is Cody Rhodes. But of course, it used to be Roman Reigns, up until a couple of months ago. WWE is no doubt experiencing a new level of popularity. But people inside WWE are seemingly forgetting about who got them to this point, Roman Reigns. Yes, Cody Rhodes has been a media sensation for the last couple of months, But the person who got them to at least the point where they could become a household name again has been Roman Reigns. But now it seems that WWE is ready to move on from Roman and replace him with Cody Rhodes. And at WrestleMania 40, Cody Rhodes will go one-on-one against Roman Reigns as Roman puts his undisputed WWE Universal title on the line, and basically his career on the line. Roman has been a champion for so long that if he loses his title, he literally loses his identity. And if he loses against Cody, then that could be pretty much it. And that is why Roman Reigns is on this list of wrestlers leaving after WrestleMania 40. And the reason why he will be leaving is because WWE is going to have Roman lose 
against Cody at WrestleMania as Cody Rhodes will become the new champion. And for the first time in a long time, Roman Reigns will not have a championship title. And ever since Roman signed his part-time contract, the writing has basically been on the wall that he is not long for WWE. He's not one of these wrestlers who truly loves pro wrestling so much where they literally need to wrestle every week, at least once a month, constantly defend their title. Instead, Roman has used his leverage as the biggest star in WWE to his advantage and to wrestle as little as possible, to show up on TV as little as possible. Roman wants to put out the least amount of work, but make the most money. Many analysts say that Roman is worth at least $30 million right now, if not more. And that is why, after WrestleMania 40, and after Roman loses his title to Cody, Roman will make the shocking announcement that he is quitting WWE. And one reason he is going to quit is because he doesn't want to continue being jobbed out. Because the alternative, if he stays, is that he will be in a continuing feud with Cody Rhodes, where Roman will have to lose again and again. They may do a rematch. Then they'll do a steel cage match. Then they'll do a Falls Count Anywhere match. And they'll get several pay-per-view matches out of it. Roman will lose all of them because WWE will not want to take the title off of Cody and put it back on Roman. WWE believes, rightly or wrongly, that once a title goes on to Cody and is taken off Roman, WWE will then go into a new level of popularity. That, if you thought they were popular now, with Roman as champion, wait until the title goes on Cody and then Roman disappears. WWE is going to experience a popularity like no other. That's what WWE believes. Now, Roman Reigns has to secretly be very angry. Even though he's a part-timer and he wrestles and shows up on TV as little as possible, he still has to be seething that he is being replaced. But in turn, this is going to cause Roman Reigns to quit WWE after WrestleMania 40. A very sad end indeed. What are your thoughts about the rumor that Triple H and Roman Reigns will leave WWE after WrestleMania 40? Leave a comment and give me your opinion. Subscribe and click the bell notification and check out Wrestling News Now Insider. Click on the link to visit it now for brand new exclusive videos.